Hey there. The anticipated Tick Tick updates are here. The web and desktop versions have been updated to 5.0, and the mobile apps have been updated to 7.0. In this video, we will discuss what the updates are for the mobile app 7.0. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so earlier this week, Tick Tick updated both the mobile and desktop versions, and I think by now all platforms have been updated. This video will be all about the mobile version, and I'll have another video that covers the updates to the desktop. I'm on Android, but I compared the what's new feature list against what iOS has, and I think it's pretty comparable. But if you're on iPhone, please leave a comment if you notice any differences on the new iOS Tick Tick version 7.0 than what I'm about to show you here for Android. First up, the detail page now features a pop-up style, smother and lighter. I'm hoping that means smoother and lighter. So if you click on a task, it now pops up from the bottom and allows you to quickly make any updates to it and then swipe it back down. I did notice that you can change this back to the old version in the settings if that's what you prefer. Go to Settings, General, Task Detail Page, and the new version is called Dialog, and the older version is called Page. Next up, the Detail Page's Action Menu supports adjusting the order. So first, where is the Action Menu? If you click on a task, the three dots in the upper right corner is what they're describing as the Action Menu. You can click on more at the bottom to get even more actions. And what's new is this edit at the bottom that when you click on it, allows you to customize this menu. So you can change which actions are pinned, which are on the first page of the action menu, and which are in the more section. Next update. The list calendar view now supports displaying a timeline. So I had made a video on this previously when it was only available on the beta version, but now it's available for everyone. So if you want to use this, you open up the calendar and go to list view on the left side. This gives you the regular old list view and to get to the new timeline, you click on the three dots in the upper right corner and click Show Timeline. Okay, back to the list of updates. The monthly calendar view supports scrolling up and down to view the schedule. This seems to be an update they made to both the desktop and mobile versions, and it is an improvement. It's just easier to have a smooth scroll through the months rather than jumping from one month to the next. And the last update listed is the redesigned reminder pop-up for a user-friendly experience. To be honest, I don't remember what the old version looked like. I do use this from time to time, but I guess I don't pay that much attention to what it looks like. However, here's what the new version looks like. Well, that covers all of the updates to the new version of the mobile app, version 7.0. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new version. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.